Hey guys, this is Battle for Darkness, and welcome to episode 12 of Pokemon Sword Light and Lunar Dark. In the last episode, we went through quite a bit. We went through that Fall Rock Valley, got ourselves through that Route 5, I think it was. Got ourselves to Orshore Town, explored Orshore Town, and now we're going to be going on the Battle Bridge. We did take on Rodney over here. And now... And I think I remember the theme. You know how I said the, this theme was from Gen 5? I think it was called Sky Arrow Bridge. I actually didn't check. But I think that is correct. So, yeah, I just want to make sure I pointed that out because, yeah, I didn't point it out last episode. It's like, oh, yeah, it's, uh, this theme's from Gen 5. I, that's uh, Bridge next to Castellia City. But uh don't remember what it's called. I think it was Sky Arrow Bridge, if I remember correctly. But anyways, we're going into some battles now. It's going to be a long... <laughs> It's gonna be a long journey through this bridge. There's gonna be a bunch of trainers, and the first trainer's name is Bob. How generic. Okay, here we go. Snuff us level 29. Oh. Man, we're, I think we're gonna be a little bit under leveled here. I mean, from the first guy, you can see that we're completely under leveled. So, this could be a problem. So, let's see, critical hit. Okay, three times. Eh. Okay, well. How much ancient power does right here? Okay, Hyper Fang, but probably another 20 damage. Oh, 23 damage now. Okay, I see how this is. Come on, stat boost. Oh. Let's go for Fire Fang, I think. No crits, no crits, no crits. Thank you. And that was 22 damage. Yikes. Take it. Okay, good. I was about to say take it out, but we did. Good job, Rexite. And that is it for Bob. You win. Alright, so yes, we're gonna need to heal up Rexite here. We're gonna try to catch up Rexite this episode. You know, I'll try to get him up there, you know. It's possible. Yeah, it looks like it. Our, oh, our second lowest level, I guess. I mean, Pixel is on this team still, but not planning to keep it on my team for very long. But, yes, as of right now, from all my team members that I currently have that I call team, team members, it will be the, the lowest, I guess, is 28, except for rest, uh, Rexite, so. Okay, what are we gonna do here? So, this is a fairy type. It really can't do much to us. Let's go for Rock Blast. Okay, Dizzy Punch, we're resistant. Okay, no confusion. Thank you. Rock Blast. Okay, that is not doing much. But yeah, this is the evolution of Rubball. Yeah, this is quite interesting uh, what, how it turns into this. Or is it. No, that's not Rub. No, that's not Rubball's evolution. What am I thinking? No, this is the. Uh, what's that bunny, fairy bunny Pokemon? I don't know why I said it was that Rub Ball Pokemon. I don't know. I'm out of it today. But okay, Rexite, come on, take it down. I can't think of that name right now. And dang it, come on, Rexite. <laughs> oh, Baton Pass. We well, don't have anything to Baton Pass to. So, ha! And there we go. Rexite level 28, just like that. We are back to the team levels. Let me see. What was, the, what was that Pokemon called? Uh... Oh, come on. Let's see. Oh, Lopog. No, it isn't Lopog's evolution. So, is it? Hmm. What, where is it at? The, is it really Rubball's evolution? Uh, is it really worth going through this right now? Not really. Eh. Whatever. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, down here you can get yourself a Weed Sea if you want to. If I remember correctly. And it's like, eh, don't really want one, but, you know, it's something you can use. There are going to be water types coming up, so, yeah, it's not, yeah, I like the, the shrub sea and the weed sea, yeah, it's, okay, cool, but there's going to be better water types, don't try to go one, for one of those guys at this point. And I'm going to go heal up quickly because I don't want to use up all my hyper potions, so I'll meet you right back at the bridge. Alright, I am back on the bridge, let's go. I put Bale Pup up top, you know, just because, get some screen time with him. I'm not gonna go soft on you. Okay, I really don't care. I would love a challenge. Wee shock. Okay, well. Nice knowing you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, quick attack. That's really not gonna do too much to Bayo Pup. Okay, bite. Come on, we need at least some quick. Oh, what? Oh! What a rip. Oh, Hyper Fang. Yikes. Okay. Okay, bite. Come on, get it down to a decent health. Okay, quick attack. And it goes for Quick Attack itself! Perfect! But let's come on, take it down, take it down, take it down, take it down! Yes! Way to go, Bale Pop! Level 29. Rexite, getting some experience. Okay, Pixel Lily! Perfect! Rexite, come on in! You are the perfect Pokemon for this! 
Let's go... Let's go Rock Blast. We are completely resistant to that, and that still did a lot of damage, and we miss with Rock Blast. 90% accuracy, and we miss. Of course, just my luck. Okay. No! Mmm, I... That hurts. Come on! Oh! Okay. Do I have, like, a full restore? Yes, we do. We're gonna use a full restore, because that is an... That's unfair. Okay, stop it with the signal beam, and don't confuse me. No confusion. Thank you. Psy beam. Uh, okay. Rock Blast, come on! Three! Three times, three times, three times, three times! Thank you very much, Rexite. I appreciate that. And there we go, that's it for Andrea. Hard battle! Alright, well, I'm gonna use some items, yeah. I just don't wanna waste all of them right now, but I really have no choice. Let's use one soda pop and bail pop, and a uh, full heal. And bail pop, and we'll put Rexite up top. Get all of our Pokemon at, towards the same level, and I did not mean to use Headbutt. He had nothing to Headbutt, so okay. <laughs> and what is down here? I, is there anything special down here? Oh, there's an item. Let's see what it is. A Netball, so that raises the catch rate when you're throwing it at a Bug or Water type. Not bad. Think you can beat me? Ha! Uh, yeah, I think I can beat you. Let's see. Oh, youngster Nick. Got a stick wig. Okay, here's that uh, the evolution of that Pokemon way back in like the first route. What was it? Like stick it? I think it was called. Struggle bug. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Fire Fang should take it out in one hit because it is quad effective. There we go. Good job, Rexite. See what else this guy has. And it is a Bud Chirp. Okay, well, we do have a few good Pokemon for that. Yeah, let's just keep Rexite in. That should be fine. Let's go for Ancient Power. Aerial Ace, let's see what this does. Not very much. Ancient Power! Let's see if we can get a one hit KO! No. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. And we should take down the Bud Shirt here because the headbutt is 100% accurate. There you go. Good job, Rexite. Oh, man! Oh, it was like Snipe, uh, what was his name? Uh, Swiper from Door of the Explorer. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. And then uh, Swiper's like, aw, man. I don't know why I'm referencing Door of the Explorer. I don't know. That's a good, that was a good kid show. Learning my Spanish. Well, I've learned very little Spanish, I guess, because, yeah, it never stuck with me. <laughs> yeah, I had to relearn it in Spanish in high school anyway, so, yeah, it really didn't help me too much. Let's see, two, okay, trick, okay, you got the quick, ah, that sucks. That really hurts Bale Pop, actually. Get the priority, take this thing down, there you go. Gekon is gone. Now it's time for War Moon, is that, is that the, is that that bug and rock type? I think it is, let's go to Four Stone. Is it the one that does the screech? I don't remember, so I'm gonna take my earbuds out. Okay, no, it's the evolution, but it doesn't do, the yeah, evolution doesn't do that screech, which I'm happy it doesn't, because yes, I don't need to lose an eardrum now. Okay, Mud Bomb, that does a lot more than I expected, but whatever. Critical, there you go, Four Stone. That was awesome. And now it's time for a Maw Claw. Should we send out our Maw Claw? Yes, we will. It's going to be a level 29 versus level 29? Watch it be like level 35. No, it's level 27. Okay. Let's go for Pluck. Okay, it's going to go Quick Attack for priority. Eh, really didn't do too much. Pluck is going to do a crap ton of damage. We'll go for Quick Attack ourselves and we will take down the Maw Claw. Yeah! Our parrot is better than their parrot. How could I lose? My Pokemon are just better. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the experience share on Rek'Sai and I'm going to see what other items I can give this thing. Because now it's caught up in levels, we'll see what we can do here. So do we have anything that's really good for it? Um, doesn't look like it. Eh. Alright, whatever. We don't need anything on him. 
So now our priority is to make sure that Bayo Pup gets to level 34 so he can get to get its final move before I want to evolve it. And here's a Lopug. Okay, that is a terrible matchup. I need to switch. Where am I? Who am I going to switch into? Hmm. You know what? Safe switch into Pixelily. Because Pixelily, why not? You'll get some screen time just for a little bit. Uh, let's go for Fever. And that really didn't do much. <laughs> oh, crits? I don't like crits. Well, uh, well, I like them on my side, but definitely not against me. And okay, payback crit. I'll take a payback crit. I'll take it. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. And now it's time for our Rablaze. Well, let's send in our counter Rex Ike to completely resist this thing. So, uh, oh crap, I think I went for Fire Fang on, oh no, I went for Headbutt. Eh, I guess it's better than nothing. Eh, we'll just go for another one, just because, you know, it did a lot more than I thought. So, yeah, might as well not waste my rock uh, type PP moves. Uh, huh, okay, Rexite level 30, trying to learn Flamethrower! Oh, okay. That is nice. Uh, okay, Fire Fang, Rock Blast, uh, Ancient Power. Let's just get rid of Headbutt. Yeah, I just used it, but whatever. Now we got Flamethrower. Now it's time for a Bush Up. Well, let's use our Flamethrower on this thing. Okay, it's faster. That's dinks. Okay, critical hit too. Come on. Okay, Flamethrower. Yes! Rexite, such a beast. I lose? What? Okay. So now Rexite is the strongest Pokemon on our team. Perfect. Hey, I'm lucky number seven. Oh. Hey, number seven. That's my lucky number, jerk. Okay, Raffro. Uh, I think it's a ghost type, so yeah. Yep, I think it, because it has grudge. Bite! Super effective damage. Take take it down. Give Bail Pup some experience. That wasn't a lot of experience. Nimblo! Your flying type, let's see. It's gonna make it rain. Ugh. Alright, well, let's just keep biting. Okay. Hmm. Eh, whatever. We'll bite it again. Bayo Pup just racking the damage up. Oh, Frog Lop. Is this the evolution of that? Oh, yes, it is. Is it that Grass Poison Frog? Okay. I, I, I like it. I think it looks pretty neat. Uh-huh. Water sport gonna weaken the fire's power, even in the rain, too. So that's even worse. Such a disadvantage. Let's go quick attack, baby. Take it down. That's good. Bail pop level 30. Try to learn embargo. That's not the move I wanted. <laughs> Four more levels. Lunate. Okay, this is a good matchup. Okay, the mist faded. That's nice. Right away! Okay, you're faster. Didn't do much, though. Come on, take it down. One hit, one hit! Oh, baby! That is good. Guess you're the lucky one. Why do you think I have 27 as... Why do we think I have 27? 7 is a luck, my lucky number, and it's in my baseball numbers. Why do you think I have 7 in the end of my number? Because 7's awesome. <laughs> well, I don't even know what I'm going into anymore. Just, I'm saying some random crap. <laughs> okay, Rubeo. Uh, Maw Claw might do the trick here. But yes, in, really, my baseball number is 27. Kind of just a little fun fact about me. I've always chosen, like, 27. But just uh, my high school year, I ended up getting moved up to varsity as a freshman. And, you know, I there was no 27. So, you know what number I took? 28. Closest to 27. <laughs> So, yeah, I didn't... No, I thought you were probably thinking... Oh, he's probably picked 17, right? No. Nope, 28. Okay. Uh, Prudixy. Okay, let's go... Oh, quick attack. Priority. Yikes. Crit? That was a crit? Okay. I know this Pokemon does not have that much attack, but getting a crit on me, that's cheap. Okay. Quick attack. Should we be faster? Yes, we're faster. Uh, voice crack of the day. There you go, folks. Maw level 30. And now it's time for Lavin Bell. What the heck is Lavin Bell? But let's go to Four Stone. It's almost there to a 
It's almost uh, about to evolve. It's pretty oh, okay, so it's that Lavin Seed evolution. Well, I'm sure it's a grass type, so let's just go for Rock Throw. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Take it down! Come on, Four Stone, get a level up right here! Yes! And now it's time for Cast Spring! What is Cast Spring? I don't know. Oh, it's that thing. Alright, well. Bug Bite. Oh! Okay. That did really Four Stone. Ah, okay. Let's see, what am I gonna do? Fix a Lily? You wanna do this? All my Pokemon are basically dead, so you are going to fight. Resistance? Okay. You only get one attack with them here. I could heal. Uh, let's go for Dazzling. Okay, you are faster. Ah! Okay, that's it. Rek'Site. Okay, no more messing around. I could have used Hamstar there, but whatever. Okay, no more messing around. Rek'Site, you're going to get a little healing item here, and we are going to take this thing on. It's quite a threat, this cast ring right here. Okay, double team! Oh, no! I do not like that at all. Acrobatics, we resist that. There we go, perfect. And we take it down in one hit. Good job, Rek'Site. And that is it for Carla. So close. Okay, so I'm gonna go heal up. I'll be, get, I'll be right back, guys. I just don't wanna show that on screen because that wastes time. And I'm sure you guys don't wanna see it. So yeah, see you in about a few seconds. Honestly, I like this bridge a lot. I like the design. Good job, Water Trainer. I mean, seriously, this, this bridge is actually quite cool. Please make more bridges in your game, because, you know, the game is not done yet. I'm sure you have maps. All done. And you're just working on the story, trying to put it all in the game. But please make more bridges. It looks really cool. But anyways, yes, I'm back. And, yes, all of our Pokemon are level 30. That's pretty cool. Let's fight this guy. I may look weak, but I assure you I am not. Is this an old person? Yes, it is. It is Petra. Okay. She has five Pokemon. And she brought out a Fairy-type. Perfect. Uh, okay, well, Pixelly, you're gonna be going out here yet. Yeah, yeah, you need quite a bit of screen time here. But I don't really have anything for this Dove Heart. Yes, technically it is good against you, but we have Fever. Oh, that did nothing. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's go for Dazzling Gleam. See what you can do here. Oh, that's nice and nice. I just see lightning, and it's striking near my home. Great. <laughs> I just saw just a big bolt of lightning. I'm like, oh, well, oh, great. So let's see, Dynaball. That is, yeah, let's just send off Forest Stone. I looked at the radar before recording this video. I was like, I heard that there was an chance of thunderstorms. I'm like, oh, oh, I better check. And it's like these little itty bitty yellow clouds on the weather radar. And I'm like, oh, that's not gonna hit us. Whatever. No, next thing you know, it there's gonna be lightning. So, yeah. Of course, this has to happen to me. It always does. <laughs> okay. So, Dynaball is down. Let's see what else is here. Let's see. Aroma. Ah, oh, okay. Rexite. You're going in. It seems like a grass type, so... Yep, you're in. Oh! Crap! Okay. This is the evolution of that grass flying type you can find right at the beginning of the game. Now I remember this. This, this thing was on my team. I loved using this. At first I was thinking, mm, this might not be that great. But no, when it evolves, when it learns that leaf tornado, man, it is really, really good. No, let's see if it'll attack us. Okay, it's going for gust of all moves. If it went for like leaf tornado, that would have been pretty cool to show off. But I guess you're not going to do that. So yeah, I die. <laughs> man, it is definitely a great Pokemon. I, I like it a lot. I'm, I, I, I don't know. I kind of wish I used it in this run. But yet again, I used it in my first run. So I was like, hmm. I better not use it again. Try some other things. Okay, so Orature. Well, let's go to Bale Pub. Try to get him another level up. Bite! Eh. I thought I'd do a little more than that. Now we're trapped in a sand tomb. Perfect. Okay, good. You at least missed with your sand tomb this time. And we are hurt by Santum again! Perfect! I love that! Okay, well... Bale Pup is definitely getting a beating on this, from 
this thing. So, yeah. Bale Pup! You're doing good. Oh, where hide? Evolution of Bale Pup. Okay, am I really worried? No, because most likely it is an. It was an evolved form. That it probably got evolved early, so it's not gonna have any moves. So where hide? What was that cry? Seriously? <laughs> okay, you'd think it'd be like something like seriously, like you'd be scared of. But no, it was like like a little tweet. It was like okay, I guess that's probably a temporary cry. <laughs> but still, I thought it'd be a little more ferocious than that. Look at that. It's just a little. Ah. Uh... There we go, there goes Petro. What? Okay, Hyper Potion. Pixeloid living at 1 HP. That's actually pretty cool. I think we're almost done with this area. I'm the last trainer to battle. Good luck. Okay, I actually got through here pretty quickly. I thought I was going to actually take two episodes to get through here because some of these trainers can take forever. It looks like I got through here really well. No! Do don't. <laughs> okay, bite. Okay, we got the Quick Claw activated. And yes, we got Flinch Hacks. Come on. Activate, yes! Unless we are faster in this thing, which is quite possible. Pluck, let's see what this does right here. Uh, okay, a little, less than half. Okay, Dudon's going down real quickly. Oh, that was scary. Bale Pup level 31, now it's time for um, Arachnom. Let's go Rexite. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's... Nice, Thunder. <laughs> Now you're hearing that, uh, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, Rock Blast. Take it down. Good job, Rexite. Level 31. Now it's time for a Clippo, which makes us go back to Bale Pup. Just because, yes, this is super effective against the Clippo. Another bite to the, I don't even know what that is. To the inner circle. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you call that. That what would it bite? Like the things on, on the top and bottom? It's like a little stems, that, like from its top and bottom. I don't know. Elect bulb. Okay, grass electric type. We will go Rexite, I guess. Uh huh. Let's see. Flamethrower. Shockwave. Gonna do not that much damage. Flamethrower definitely do heavy damage on this thing and it does now it's time for rush shot okay this thing oh this is such a scary pokemon if four stone doesn't take it out no one will so yeah let's go for bulldoze okay, let's go for tackle really okay well i think this thing's gonna go down real easily almost maybe it's speed fell so maybe we could outspeed it now no it is pretty quick, but it decided to go for tackle twice. I mean, come on. This trainer is so dumb. An electric type move would still do more damage than that. You win. All right. Congrats, you beat all 10 trainers. Here's your reward. We get a lucky egg. Oh. That's awesome. You know what? I think I have a, I have an item to give to Rexite now. Wait, no. Wrong, wrong bag. There we go. Give to Rexite. Okay. So now, remember with when Rex said that he'd battle us at the end of the bridge? Well, I'm going to go heal, and then I'm going to come right back. Just because, you know, I want to be healed up for the fight. Okay, well, let's go. Time to face Rick Grimes. Or? Really? I thought you'd battle us, like, right... Oh, boy. I love this little port watching the boats come and go. Well... That sucked. I wanted to battle. Where's, where's Rick? Ah. Uh, all right. Well. Whatever. That's that's fine. Do some exploration because why not? Actually, let's see. Oh. Okay. I, I don't know why I haven't been listening to the music. But yes, this area here, the music is Gatian Port from Pokemon XD. So I really love that theme. I remember playing the Pokemon XD. That was probably my favorite. Probably my favorite GameCube game of all time. Just because, you know, uh, it, I loved 3D Pokemon. Simple as that. And I was too young to play Pokemon Stadium when I was, well, when I was born, there really wasn't, I mean, Pokemon Stadium was old. So, I mean, well, I guess not when I was born, but I you know when I was really little, Pokemon Stadium came out and it was like, eh, it really, yeah, it, 
you know, oh, what? Um, I'm a weed seed, but I trade it in a way. Can we search for my weed seed? Uh, okay, uh, you take FIVA and raise it like it deserves. Oh, okay, so you can get a FIVA here. I'll do that off screen. But, yeah, yeah, Pokemon Stadium. I mean, when I, I was really little when that game came out, and, you know, it's just, oh, I was just in here. But, yeah. Yeah, it's really not. Oh, there's Rick. Okay, well, we'll explore the rest of this area and then we'll uh, take him on. But, yeah. Let's see, there's nobody in here. I'm sure there's going to be someone there in the beta. Or in the next beta or so. Actually, isn't there like a Pokemon here somewhere? Yeah, there is like a. It was so scary. We we're sitting by that cargo container and it jumped out and scared us. Oh, rare Pokemon. Alright, well, let's take it on. Wait a minute. Okay, I, I didn't check five Pokeballs. Oh, well! If I don't get it, I don't get it. Let's see. Psytrick. I'm assuming it is a dark type, so I do not want to use Bite. But anyway, back to my story. <laughs> I'm, I'm like pushing it way back. But no. Uh, Pokemon XD was really the first game that I played that was 3D. And it's, I didn't even have Pokemon Coliseum. I never heard of Pokemon Coliseum, but I saw Pokemon XD at like, oh, I don't know, like a Toys R Us or something when I was little. And I was like, hey, I want that game. So I got it, and I like the whole Shadow Pokemon thing. I still do. I think it's pretty cool. If they brought a Pokemon XD, sort of like that, like that kind of game, to the Wii U, I would have definitely bought it. But at this point, it wouldn't be worth developing for the Wii U, because I know the NX is being in development right now. And, okay, really? What's this thing's catch rate? Eh. But yeah, I would definitely buy a 3D Pokemon game. Not like a traditional RPG game, but like a spin-off. I like keeping most of my Pokemon games, like, on the handheld, if you know what I mean. It's just, it just feels natural, just because it's always been on a handheld. I don't know, if they, the NX supposed to be like a bridge between handheld and console, that would have been cool if you could play your 3D Pokemon game on the console and they came out with a portable NX like two, three years later that has the same specs as the NX but in a smaller form and you could play your NX games on the handheld on the go. If they have something like that, that would be cool. I know game devs would love that. I mean seriously, you have two ways that people can play their games and oh, there's that weed see. Okay, well, yes, I'll bring it back to her, and yeah, that's what I think the NX should be, at least make it powerful, at least more than the PS4, because I mean, you have to give people a reason that don't own a Nintendo console to, you know, get one. I mean, any Nintendo fan's gonna get the next console, simple as that, but you need to, you have to make sure that you get enough power for other people too. Be for the hardcore gamer. Even though they said the Wii U is supposed to be for the hardcore gamer, right when I saw it, and I was like, mm, not for the hardcore gamer because of the gamepad. But I thought the game gamepad is cool, and I, I still think that. But I know it did uh, because of so how expensive it was. It did throttle how much of the Wii U power that they could have for it. So yeah, I don't know. I was battle Rick now. I know it's 30 minutes in the video almost. So whatever. Yeah, we'll take him on. Yeah, cool. Hello there, Rick. Rick Grimes! Yeah, here we go. He's taking on Lori and he's got a Stegron. So this is the evolution of the uh, electric rock type that we saw him have before. Oh, crit! Come on, flinch! Flinch! Ah! That would have been so cool if I got a critical hit and a flinch. Okay, Bale Pup, take it down! Two crits! Bale Pup! That was awesome! Let's see, Orature. Sure. If we can get like five crits in a row, I'll, I'll keep Bale Pop out. Oh, speed fell. Great. Okay. Okay, flinch, 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 flinch. Dang it. I think Bale Pop's going down. Yes, it is. All right, well, no big deal. Let's go Four Stone. Yeah, we can get Four Stone some more screen time. And we'll go for Razor Leaf and finish off the Orchard. Four stone gets a level 31, not bad. Let's see what else he's gonna send out. Oh, cast spring. Ugh! Alright, well. Rock throw. Bug bite. Let's see what this does right here. About half. 
And this time we actually hit with rock throw, so hopefully we can take it down in one hit. Yes, we do. There we go. And now it's time for a Maw Claw. Perfect for Forest Stone. Air Cutter? Not gonna do too much. Nah. Oh, come on! We missed Rock Throw twice in one episode. That sucks. Oh, what? Okay, fine. Okay, Air Cutter does have a high crit uh, chance, but we have Rexite. No big deal. We will take it down. Pluck. Let's see. 15 damage. Not too wor- Really? Oh, don't tell me it's gonna be one of those battles. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and- Really? Come on, Rexite! What the heck? Okay, don't die from missing so many times. Thank you! Two times is the charm. Actually, three times with Rock Blast just to get it going. But we hit it with two- with only two Rock Blasts. Let's see, Rush Shot! <laughs> I really don't have anything. Okay, Rexite. You have to come through for me, buddy. Hmm. Spark. This may hurt. Yeah, it did hurt a lot. Rock Blast. Crit. I like where this is going. Come on, take it down, take it down, take it down, take it down. Yes! Rexite coming through with the W. Hitting four times. Rexite level 32. I'm still better. Yeah, sure you are. Luck it was on your side again, it doesn't matter. High Point City is next for me, and I heard of a sailor on a pier who sails you to Route 9, but I don't want to help for anybody. I think it's more for some weakling like you. Haha, <laughs> catch you later, loser. I didn't talk like Rick there. Oh well. No big deal. Yeah, I think I'm going to end off the episode here. I mean, I think we did quite a bit this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah. See you guys next time for some more Pokemon Solar Light Lunar Dark.